Hello everyone, this is a video demo of PetriNet GUI project I developed for Professor Srinivas. It works like the FISO program in Windows, which allows you to draw the flowchart and I implement more functions which can generate the corresponding logic matrices for which we can take it as an input file uh, for some engine in next step. Let's start. So just simply click on the PetriNet icon. Um, we will launch the GUI. On the up left corner of the GUI, we can see four buttons, transition, place, polygon, and arrow. Basically, we will use transition, place, and arrow to draw the flow chart. And the polygon is used to give the arrow more um, flexibility of the control point. Uh, Let's start with drawing some places. Left click on places, move um, your mouse on the canvas, choose any place you want to draw the places. Left click, then give the name of the place, say P1. Choose um, the other place you want, left click, give name P2. Then we can draw the transition at next level. Um, also, left click transition, move mouse onto the canvas, choose any place you want, click. Um, here you have to type the name first, followed by space and the type of the transition. We only have zero type transition and one transition. So here I create a zero first, then say T2, I give the type T1. And uh, you can tell the color are different for different type of the transitions. Then we draw next level place P3, P4. And uh, for the uh, for either the place and the transition, the name cannot be duplicated. Say if I type P4, since we already have P4 here, then it will give you some warnings. Uh, about the duplicate name and it actually doesn't draw anything so I have to give name P5 then transition give type 0 T4 let's give type 1 now uh, we can draw some arrows the arrow is designed uh, to connect either from the place to the transition or from transition to place. It cannot connect between places and between transitions. So let's start. Um, click on, left click on the arrow. Um, then we want to right click on the first primitive where the arrow come from. Then right click on the primitive uh, which the arrow will point to. Then it will ask you to give the weight of the arrow, say 2. Again, we will do the same manipulations, 3. And then we do the same thing for the rest of the graphs. Always right click on first primitive first, then right click on the second primitive. Okay, um, at this point, we can also, um, if you think the drawing is not that great enough, you can always uh, readjust the position of either the place and the transition. Just leave it in the arrow mode, then you click on the primitive, say, T1, hold on, move to the other place, and click. Then it will uh, do some adjustment, say, we want to P2 to also adjust. Uh, click on P2, hold on, move to the new place and click. Okay, it's very simple. Now uh, we want to uh, the flow like loop back from the transition to places. Um, at this point, we want to add some polygons as a control point of the arrows. 
and uh, then we choose the uh, arrow mode again uh, connect from T3 to the uh, polygon first then you ask to give the weight say I type 3 here and uh, then it will follow another window which asks you to specify um, I want to um, set T3 loop back to P1 so I will type uh, P1 and uh, you will see why like it designed in this manner and there's a um, arrow between polygons like you don't need to specify the weight so, okay if you find like um, the arrow go like this you can actually adjust the position a little bit so it will give you a better looking of the arrow um, here the same thing we want uh, it like the flow loop back from T4 to T, uh, P2 so uh, we are in the arrow mode right now right click right click give the weight and specify the which place you want to go back okay two okay after we draw this um, flow chart or uh, after you like reship like each um, primitives as you want then we can compile this graph to generate some uh, input and output matrix click on the compile button then you specify a directory where the file will be stored and uh, you give the name say test1 okay after save it um, then we would generate um, a specific uh, new windows say we can switch between these two windows this is our original graph and uh, these are two matrices which uh, the first one is the input matrix which indicate all the weight uh, come from the place to the transition and then the output matrix uh, gives the information about all the weight um, come from transitions to the places uh, you can verify the matrices with the graph yourselves and uh, also see we have this uh, T1 input we can verify the content okay now you can see um, in this file, the first one is uh, in, in the first line, the first number is the number of the place and the number of um, transitions we can verify with the graph here. See, we have totally um, five places and uh, four transitions. Next, it's um, uh, followed by the input matrix. Uh, this is the uh, output matrix and also the last line is uh, all the type information of the transitions it's ordered by the lexicon graphic order um, which means here uh, like from alphabetically the first one is T1 it's uh, type 0 second one T2 is type 1 T3 type 0 T4 type 1 Okay, uh, this is basically what you need um, to pipe um, this input file to some engines. So if you want to specify some engines, uh, you can specify the run first, and you choose some engines. Since I don't have the engines, so um, after you install the PatchNet program, you can just follow the uh, window uh, queries specify the um, engine first and then specify which input file such as the one we just generated and also give the name of the output file and it will like do the things as you want okay so uh, next step I'm going to show the subnet drawing um, like based on the requirements um, we can 
create a new windows uh, based on like some uh, transitions say uh, we can click on the edit move uh, and I want to create a sub uh, net based on say T2 uh, move the mouse on the T2 right click it give you a window you choose the option new window then it will generate a new window with the two transition types T2 in, T2 out and uh, you can move to any place you want and also T2 okay then you can draw uh, like just basically the similar graph as we just did uh, in um, the, the P1, P2 in this window, it doesn't matter. Then we can add some... Okay, uh, this is just a very simple demo. Um, also we can compile the subgraph still the same, click on the compile, choose uh, desktop, specify like the name, test subnet, save, and uh, also we will generate the input matrix, output matrix, and uh, let's verify. And also see like the in input matrix, output matrix, and uh, since we only have two transition and they are both type one, so it indicated here. Okay, this is um, basically this project is developed uh, on the uh, Ubuntu platform, and uh, I ship it to the Mac. There might be some uh, com compatible issues. One is um, sometimes uh, if you if you drag um, to uh, to adjust this pr um, issue is just click on just click on any primitive you want and it will just just give you perfect graph yes that's it that's uh, um, all the the basic instructions of this project thank you